Greetings, Saberites. Anonymous here with another installment of our little Jarkai series we've got going. Um, <clears throat> today I wanted to talk about a, a little special technique or something that's very useful uh, when wielding two swords if you're if you're come if you're in fight in a fight with them. Um, <clears throat> and it is draw, uh, it is splitting attention. So we see a lot of times <clears throat> people doubling up on their strikes like this, coming through here like that. Um, you also see a lot of people doing this, where it makes it kind of appear that they're only using kind of one weapon at a time. Now, using one weapon at a time, I don't find too problematic. I think that's a, a perfect use of, of, of having two weapons because using them both at the same time requires quite a bit of uh, skill and uh, you know, uh, coordination. Um, that being said, <clears throat> if you're using two of them, I'm assuming that you have that skill and coordination. Um, but being able to hit guard positions where you can both attack and parry from both of those positions, in, you know, depending on what's coming in, right? You can do it simultaneously, right? And it requires your opponent to kind of look in two drastic spots at the same time or to split their attention. Um, this can afford you just the right amount of leeway to get that errant strike in, right? Um, or if, or parry their strike and not see them, or not have them see that second strike coming in after that parry, right? <clears throat> now, when you're using, if you're switching sides, if you're just kind of using it one at a time here in kind of a kashi, uh, style, um, which, like I said, is is, is fine. Um, it does bring up the point of why you're using two weapons in the first place. But hey, you know, maybe you're giving one hand a rest while the other one's going that, or maybe you want to switch into kind of more dynamic things. Um, but the point is, is that that actually works as well because I have another weapon over here, which can always enter into the fight, right? And it can look threatening, right? Not doesn't even have to look threatening, especially with glowing blades. All I got to do is hold it out here, and a lot of people are just gonna look right over there. <clears throat> so that can afford you a whole lot of openings. Um, so that is a uh, kind of a very fundamental uh, point that, um, at least in most of the Chinese schools that I've that I've studied, you know, is is stressed, right? That we 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 want to split their attention. We don't want to come in striking kind of at the same spot in the same way. We don't want to use these as just as one weapon, right? We want to use it as two weapons in conjunction. We want to use them as a unit. We want to use them together, right? But. Um, and like in the last one I said, you're not gonna see a whole lot of this because that's essentially tying up both of your weapons when you don't really need to. If you were to do anything like that, you pass through it using one to hold the enemy weapon up or what have you um, to do that. But generally speaking, You'll see a lot of the guard positions, a lot of the ready positions, will make it uh, uh, you know make it difficult for you to really kind of tell which way which way is going. We're not going <laughs> to. This is not a common one, although there. This is often a common one. You'll see this, um, and you'll see it a whole lot in the screma. And when you're using lightsabers about this about this long. Um, Eskrima is an excellent analog um, for, for these sabers here, okay? especially with the lack of guard and all that. Now, the thing about Eskrima is it is a stick, so it's not a hilt-based type of thing, so you're not, you are worried about getting your hand hit, but you're not necessarily worried about it getting it cut or damaged um, the way here. So there's a little bit less... <laughs> Um, room margin for error, as, as they say.
Okay, so uh, just a little quick Jarkai tip. Um, hopefully I will uh, come up with some more to, uh, just to throw out there for people um, and keep you satisfied. If you have any specific requests or uh, questions, uh, please join us on the Facebook page or the uh, Facebook forum, um, Learners in Exile, um, or put it in the comments below. Uh, we'll try to get to them. We're going to try to keep it real basic, real general, so not a whole lot of specific advice um, that we'll be giving out, but much like this, little tips and tricks um, for the most common stuff um, that we see come up. Okay. Well, that's it for me. Um, I will see you on the flip side. Have a great day and happy savory.